Hello guys, this is Amy Owie. Welcome back. Um, first, I got some news. Um, you know my Lucy the Eternity She Wished For series. Um, I'm going to have to remove or switch in the private on October 19th. So, uh, so you have October 19th to watch the videos until I've been given the okay because I got contacted from the developers to do so. And also, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Domel. Thank you for loving my ice down shirt challenge and sending me this link where I can get a new mic. I'll be working on that, but I will personally thank you for your help. Other than replying to your comments saying thank you, I would like to say this in person. Thank you, Donnell, for your help. I really need it. Okay, what's. And guys, you already know. Guys, you already know my rule. I'll only talk when my character is talking because there's no voice out for him. So yeah. リコンとどけにハンをついて置いておくわ。行き先ももちろん知らせない。マサヤが大人になった時はたまには顔を合わせるのもいいでしょう。けれど。当面はこれっきり。さあ、行きましょう。荷物は少しずつまとめてあったの。あの人が帰らないうちに出て行くわよ。It's pretty ironic. The situation happened to me when I was little. Where? I'm not going. My mother's eyes opened wide. She looked at me. To her, it was as if her son had started speaking an alien language. In my childish way, I explained to her that I felt like I couldn't up in my father. Mom would be fine on her own, but Dad wouldn't. That was the conclusion I had reached, which was why I couldn't go along with my mother. Here's the thing, for a child, he thought everything out. He's responsible. <laughs> Mother was set, and in the end, decided to cancel that day's flight. Spent some time trying to convince me, but in the end, she was the one who gave up. She left the hell alone, promising to stay in contact with me. I could still clearly see the image of my mom walking off into the rainy day. Okay. And in the end, my mom was right. I looked around at the crumbled paper in my hand. Now that I know that the world worked, I know how the world worked, I realize Dad would have turned out this way, whether I had been here or not. But what am I going to do about this? My thumb was on the loan. The interest rate was 30% every day, every 10 days. 30%. A paper like this had no legal merit, but I doubt that logic was going to appease those two. My father's one redeeming feature was what my mother once called his genius. Sorry about that. My Facebook popped it. Once called his genius way of talking around people. He managed to hold off even the most fearsome of loan sharks with most laid back manner possible. Also, I know that. And Jamal, we'll try to get the mic that you put a link to. So, again, I'd like to say thank you. I really appreciate you guys helping. Till last year, we had somehow managed to keep up, but then it got too big. My old man broke under the pressure. <clears throat> Son of a And that's when I ran away. Damn, I should have just stayed in there. Suruki Gaka? Oh. I probably triggered people. Let me try to press this. Suruki Gaka. Goika. Ah! Suruki Gaka. Ah. Okay. Last shot, and then I'm gonna give up. Suruki Goika. I think that's how it's pronounced. You can yell at me if you want. I can. I'm trying my best here. I'm learning the best Japanese I could possibly learn here. Back then, a part of me still felt sorry for him. 
I had also just graduated from middle school, that sense of finality might have had some influence on my actions. I graduated then fled some unfamiliar land and enrolled in school there. I started to think that the loan sharks had given up and we made a quick break. Suddenly, the local mafia came calling. How badly in debt did you get? I screamed at him, but my father just gave me that little smile and shook his head. My father's skill as a hustler had just made the situation even worse. Unable to get around his skill way worse, predators had sold his loan to the mafia. And the force they used to collect our debt was on a completely different scale. My dad wheeled and dealed, but in the end, yeah, he only bought us a year. Now we had one again, return to... Oh, crap, not again. Um, Tsurugi Goika. Ah! Tsurugi Goika. I was mad about the short notice as usual, but I couldn't say I wasn't glad to be back home. I just finished my first year of school, so it was a good time to transfer. The problem was that since he never earned any money, the loan wasn't going to just disappear. This time, I, had, I didn't even have a chance to catch my breath. A new creditor would come calling soon. That was the goons. Worst thing about possible choice, by the way, developers. <laughs> Their efforts to collect were much more violent. I had no, known we couldn't keep up this life much longer, but still, never thought it would end like this. I was finally ready to abandon my old man in my heart. He was no longer my father. From now on, I would just call him the bastard. <laughs> the bastard. And <laughs> <Hashtag> the bastard. <laughs> oh boy. But even so. What was I going to do? In the past, if a loan shark or a mob guy approached me, I could point them at a bastard and that would be it. That. On this few occasions they had gone after me, I could admit that the bastard had still held me out. But now that he was gone, I had to deal with it on my own this time. Me, an ever student, unlike him, I knew I couldn't talk my way out of it like he could. What do I do? I sunk down into the worn out to me. Talk to me, Matt. I had to run away to where I spent all my money on rent. That sounds familiar. I feel like all of my strength was leaving my body. Just then, there was a rapid knock on the door. I felt my limp body tense up instantly. Whoa. I could part Pretend I wasn't home, but the door was so thin they could easily break it down. Am I the one that I feel like I should punch this? Here's the thing, this guy deserves a punch in the face. <laughs> Each kick caused the door to ra rattle. It really did look like it was about to break him wide. I quickly moved to the back of the room, opened the closet door, and squeezed inside. Closed the door didn't block out my no sound, but cut off most of the light and left me in the dark. I couldn't write this out by hiding in the closet. Stood up, leaned forward, and located the ceiling board above me. I lifted it up and set it aside. <sighs> Straining the ears to cough from the dust, I pulled myself up above the ceiling. I heard the sound of the door breaking down just as I got the board back in the mix. Huh? There was a crawl space in the ceiling, and despite it being a tight fit, I managed to get through. Make through. From there, I made it outside, climbed down the rain gutter, and ran off at full speed. Wait, where did this come from? Okay, I played this game before, and this... This was here before. This thing. Hey boss, I see what... Okay, purple windows. These purple windows indicate events taking place from the point of view of people other than the protagonist. <sighs> this guy has a lot of scars. <laughs> Your scars are wrinkles. I can't tell. 
仕入れにもいねえやあのガキ金もねえくせにどっかで遊んでいやがるのかおう見ろ清志えあの野郎の書き置きが残ってるここにてめえのガキを売るあいつが売ったのはガキだけじゃねえてめえの魂まで売っちまったんだそうっすね That was yesterday. I spent almost a full day just wandering around the city. I skipped work today just in case. I just, I didn't want to make trouble for them. Calling in apps and right after I start. This kid's gonna be fired for three days. If I did get my month's pay, all the work I've done would have been for them. I was starting to mess that run down apartment. At least a, it had a ceiling and a roof, floor. They didn't want to sleep on tree I was hired to get with and napped on a park bench for a while, but now I was just exhausted. I'll end up dying on the streets at this rate. Hi, Dave the Combat Butler, everybody. Basically, the beginning story of that. <laughs> the first written episode of I Dave the Combat Butler it had this exact moment. Except for the, the parents fighting with each other's like, oh, they left together in that show. Still pretty similar. The fact that I wasn't joking showed just how brave my situation was. Check the cons on my wallet again. A hundred yen coin. One. Ten yen coins. Six. That's all. I had no paper bills. Nothing. Confuse. Wait, so let me get back. Okay, so he has a hundred and sixty yen. I'll make it a dollar sixty in Canada and America. I'm pretty sure. Either that or less. Only by a small margin, though. Thought about running it out to an automatic loan machine, but I knew better than anyone that once you start borrowing money, you never stop. And I wasn't sure if they lend me lend money to a student anyway. That's right. What will I do about school? How's I supposed to get any learning done in a situation like this? Due to my unique situation, the school agreed to differ my tuition payment, but there was no way I could pay it with the goons after me. The more I thought about it, the more I realized how badly I was trapped. Hung my head in the middle of the street. Somewhere inside me, I knew that there was no way out. Although the hunger, cold, and exhaustion made it hard to get my thoughts together, people passed by shooting me can can concealed glares, glances. But I looked straight ahead, watched them walk by with lonely thoughts in my heart. That's fucking deep. <laughs> Those people all had homes to return to, warm houses with families waiting. I didn't have anything. Realization that I was all alone in the world suddenly pierced my mind like an arrow. It wasn't like I wanted to live with that freeloading father of mine. But even so, the sudden realization caused my vision to blur. Damn. Brought my eyes hard. I wasn't alone. My mother was still out there. My mother had kept in contact with me all this time, but I never tried to see her. She had tr started a new life in a new place. Perhaps now was the time to impose on family. I heard the sound of footsteps passing by, some moving ahead and some moving behind. Till you're sure I had always had some place to go, some place to come home to. It was all that bastard's fault. Damn, if I ever saw him again, I was going to hit him. It occurred to me that I hadn't eaten anything since dinner for the night before. One, a pan and a can of milk. Pan. Should eat something. If I ate some, I might put me in a more positive mood. Though I wasn't sure what could I do to satisfy my stomach with 160 yen. I saw the lights of a convenience store on the corner ahead. Walked toward it. Just then, a figure appeared near my feet. Hmm? <laughs> what the kiss me out? 
A scrawny cat with <laughs> mended fur stared up at me. Normally, I wouldn't give a fuck to a stray cat, but what's wrong? You're all alone too, huh? I was only I found myself talking to it. I don't know what happened there. Stray kept its distance, but looked up at me with a surprisingly affectionate now. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Got a fess a fish sausage, which seemed like the most filling option for my money. Thought the cab have ran off and ate um and I ate on my own, but when I came back it was sitting right where I left it. Guess I don't have much choice. When I removed the package, the cat smelled it and walked right up. I broke it in half, stuck one piece in my mouth, and offered the other to the cat. The cat quickly devoured it, then looked hungrily at my mouth. Sorry, it's all gone. Much, much. Mm. When I guess I once sent a f newspaper flying, I suddenly remembered the lotto ticket I bought earlier. More precisely, that lotto ticket that the bastard had me buy. I didn't want to waste our money, but he was so adamant on being rich quick. He ended up forcing it on me. I really need to put a t timer on this. Now, where did I put it? Did I lose it somewhere? I strung around my pants pockets and found a warm, worn out tight. The announcement should be today, and the newspaper probably had those results. Picked it up, walked over to the, one of the street lamps, then an unpleasant sight met my eyes. What's going on? Oh, yeah, that. I was too far away to hear what they were saying, but it was clearly an argument of some kind. And I think I should be here for now. I'll see you guys later. Again, Mel, thanks. Please show your support. Leave a like, subscribe. If you want me to play one of the one games, please leave a suggestion. I told you the list of games on my Ice Down Shuff Down Shirt Challenge. I said the whole list there for you guys from. This is Amy Owie, signing off.